أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب الحكيم أكان للناس عجبا أن أوحينا إلى رجل منهم أن أنذر الناس وبشر الذين آمنوا أن لهم قدم صدق إن ربهم قال الكافرون إن هذا لصاحر مبين صدق الله العظيم رب شح لي صدري ويسر لي امري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي By the grace of Allah and with his name we are beginning our study of Surah Yunus But before we begin with the text of this surah please note two points Number one this place is the meeting place of two blessing things Tiranu Sa'dain I told you two types of groupings among the surahs the Ahzab or the Manazil for facilitating the Muslims to complete their recitation of the whole Quran in one week so seven parts having full surahs so here we are beginning with the third Manzil first Manzil or Hizb Surah Al-Fatiha, then Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Ibran, Surah Al-Nisa. Then the second started, it had five. Surah Al-Maida, Surah Al-Anam, Surah Al-Araf, Surah Al-Anfal, Surah Al-Tawbah. So two, two Ahzab completed. Third is turning, st- starting with Surah Al-Yunus. The second type of grouping of Makki Madni. The first one consists of Surah al Fatiha as Makki and then four Madani Surahs. The second, two Makkis, Al Anam, Wal Araf, and two Madanis, two Al Anfal and Al Tawbah. They, they also completed with Surah Al Tawbah. And here the third group is starting. So this is the meeting place of these two groupings of the Surahs. Tiranu Sadain. Now this third group, which is starting from Surah to Yunus, it has 14 surahs Makki. Only one, that is Surah to Nur, this Madani. It's one of the longest groups of Makki Madani surahs. The more peculiar thing about this group of Makki surahs is, there are small groups, subgroups of three surahs. Two of them, they are in pairs. They are, you know, similar to each other, reciprocal to each other, and they go to make a pair. Third one is Munfarid, peculiar, individual. So there are, you know, subgroups comprising of three surahs. Surah to Yunus, Surah to Hud, they go to make a pair. Then Surah to Yusuf, it's a very peculiar surah in the whole of the Quran. It only gives the story of Hazrat Yusuf salam from the very beginning till the end. It's very peculiar. Then you know second group, Surah Al-Raj, Surah Al-Ibrahim, they go to make a pair. But then Surah Al-Hijr is absolutely different in style. And so on. We shall see this thing, you know, as we progress. But these three points must be noted. Number one. With Surah to Yunus begins the third Manzil or Hizb and also the third Makki Madani Surahs group. And the 14 Surahs of this group, which are Makki, they are subdivided into subgroups comprising each of three Surahs, except the last one. 
Now as for this first group, Surah Yunus and Surah Hud, both, you know, the names are of two messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One thing is similar to them in their names. Another thing, you know, the six surahs now, they will have Alif, Lam, Ra. Five Alif, Lam, Ra. One Alif, Lam, Meem, Ra. So this is going to be the alphabets starting, starting alphabets of these surahs. Now both these surahs, they are named on the names of two messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now what is the reciprocal ratio between these two? You will find the Surah to Yunus has total 11 rukus. Out of those only two, you know, they consist of Ambao Rusul, the stories of the messengers. Just the reverse in Surah to Hud. It consists of 10 rukus and more than 6 they consist of Ambaur Rasul, the important news of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, in Surah Yunus we will find, Hazrat Nuh discussed only in half ruku, and one and a half devoted to Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. You will find the reverse in Surah Uhud. Hazrat Nuh has two rukus. And Hazrat Musa is only just mentioned. So the reverse, you know, the converse ratio proportion, reciprocal. So this is a, a, a sign of their being in pairs. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alif Lam Ra. These are huruf muqattaat. These are pronounced separately, and so they are called. They are the broken, broken into pieces. Not pronounced as Alif, Lam, Meem, Alam, no. Alif, Lam, Meem. Alif, Lam, Ra, Alar, no. Alif, Lam, Ra. Now the meanings of these broken alphabets, exact meanings we don't know. There are conjectures from some of the scholars, but I don't have time to, you know, mention them here. What is agreed upon by all these scholars is that no sure and definite meanings are known to us. It's a sort of secret between Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tilka ayat al-kitab al-hakim. These are the ayat of a book full of wisdom or a book which is fortified and mature. Ha kaf mean this root comes for something which is strong. Istihkam, mustahkam, something which is strong. So kitab al-hakim. This book is very strong. This is fortified. لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه ولا من خلفه. Falsehood cannot attack it, neither from the front nor from the back. So it is a strong, fortified book. And the other meanings that it is book, book of wisdom. أكان للناس عجبا أن عوين إلى رجل منهم. Has this thing become very wondering and strange to the people? that we have sent revelation to a man from among themselves and under in Nas that warn the people وَبَشْرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ and give glad tidings to the believers أَنَّ لَهُمْ قَدَمَ صِدْقٍ إِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ that for them there is a very sure footing with their Lord قَالَ الْكَافِرُونَ إِنَّ هَذَا لَصَاهِرُ الْمُبِينَ this appeared to be very strange to them they are wondering, and these unbelievers, they said, these disbelievers, rejectors, verily it is a clear sorcerer. He is a clear sorcerer or a magician. Inna rabbakum allahu ladhi khalaqa samawati wal larda fi sittati ayyam. This subject is repeated in the Quran many times. Verily, your Lord is Allah, who created all the heaven and the earth, in six days. So Mastavala Lash. Then he mounted the throne. You the Birulamr ordaining the affairs. Ma'am and Shafreen in Lamin Bali is there is no intercessor except after his permission. Zalikumullah Rabbukum. That is Allah your Lord. Such is Allah your Lord. Such is the high position of Allah your Lord. Fabudu. So 
एक इबादा तो हिम सब सर्व हिम लव हिम ओबे हिम वर्शिप हिम अफला तजक करो अफला तजक करो सो डोंट यू गेट रिमाइंडेड डोंट यू हैव ऑल द टेस्टिमनी ऑफ दिस विद इन योर सोल्स एंड आर यू नॉट रिमाइंडेड इला हिमर जो कुम जमीन तो हिम इज योर रिटर्न ऑल ऑफ यू वाद अल्लाह हक पन दिस इज ए प्रॉमिस ऑफ अल्लाह विच इज बाइंडिंग ऑन हिम लजमान लाए बफी सो इट इज एक्चुअली ए बाइंडिंग प्रॉमिस ऑन अल्लाह इन दू जब दू खल का सुन मई दो इट इज ही हु ओरिजिनेट्स दी लाइफ हु ओरिजिनेट्स दी क्रिएशन एंड देन ही रिपीट्स the yazi allazina amanu wa amilu salihat and he will repeat this creation why so that he rewards those who come to believe and who do good deeds bil qist this reward should be with full justice wal ladina kafaru lahum sharabun habimun sharabun min habimin as for those who reject who disbelieve for them will be drink of boiling water wa azabun alimun bima kanu yakfurun and very painful torment due to the kufr that they were doing they have been doing who all the jala shams zayan it is he who made the sun shining wal qamara nuran and he made the moon a light wa qaddarahu manazila and he has fixed for them fixed for it measured out stages for the moon so that you must know the number of the years le ta'lamu adad as-sinin wal hisab and actually for this one you know moon cycle goes to make one month then you know it makes one year and so you 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 form the calendar wal hisab and reckoning of time ma khalaq allah zalika illa bil haqq allah has not created all these things but with a definite design and it is a definite purpose you fi sul ayat li qaumi ya'lamun and he is explaining his revelations he details his revelations for those who know or who want to know inna fi ikhtilaf al-layl wa an-nahar wa ma khalaq Allah fi as-samawati wal ard la ayat li qaumi yattaqun verily in the alternation of night and day and whatever allah subhanahu wa taala has created in the heavens and the earth there are signs they call me yattaqun for those who have some fear of god in him in them who have some you know moral sense in them who have some sense of responsibility in them so all these things you know they are signs of allah subhanahu wa taala the the heavens the earth the sun the moon you know very profound aya in surah al baqarah inna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi wa ikhtilafi al-layl wa an-nahar wal fulki allati tajri fi al-bahri bima yanfa'u an-nas wa ma anzala Allah min as-samaa'i min ma'in fa hiya bihi al-ardu ba'da mawtiha wa basatha fiha min kulli dabbatin wa tasrifi ar-riyah wa as-sahab al-musakhkhar bayna as-samaa'i wal ardi la ayatin liqaumi yaqilun all these physical phenomena they are signs signs of Allah's greatness signs of his omnipotence signs of his complete knowledge signs of his complete wisdom inna fi ikhtilaf al-layl wa an-nahar wa ma khalaq Allah fi as-samawati wal ard la ayatin liqaumi yattaqun inna alladhina la yarjuna liqaana this term yarjuna liqaana this is very so to say key word of this surah it will be repeated many a times those who don't hope to meet us you know if they have some sense that they will come to us one day it is something else for them the go- gates and and the ways and paths of of guidance will be opened but those who have no sense no idea that they will meet their lord inna alladhina la yarjuna liqana wa radu bil hayat ad dunya and they became contented with the life of this world people feel you know whose souls are alive they feel that this doesn't appear to be all there must be something else a thirst in their souls for something else this is appearance there there seems to be some reality behind it 
so these people whose whose souls are alive in them their spirits have not died they have a feeling within them a thirst that is why why did the people go to the to the woods to the jungles to the deserts why this siyaha why this rahbaniya going to the caves very taking over there and you know putting all the hardships on them why because there is a thirst in the human soul that it knows someone has created us and i want to be nearer and nearer to him so all these people you know and because this is the universal phenomenon west to east everywhere you find these people so this is a proof that there is some yearning some incentive in man some thirst something that he wants to love and know in the ladina la yarjuna liqana as to for as for those who don't have any such urge wa radu bil hayat ad dunya and they are fully contented and satisfied with this world they are fully engrossed they are totally lost in this world what man nu biha they are very fully satisfied with it wal ladina hum an ayatina ghafilun and those who don't pay any heed to our our signs and symbols ulaika ma wahum an nar they are they the abode of whom will be fire bima kanu yaksibun because of what they had been earning inna alladhina amanu wa amilus salihat on the contrary those who believe and do good deeds yahdihim rabbuhum bi imanihim their lord will take them and lead them to the place which place due to their iman due to their belief due to their faith tajri min taatihul anhar the place that underneath them the rivers will be flowing fi jannatin naeem and do that the jannat or the gardens of bliss dawahum fiha subhanak allahumma the prayer their prayer their in will be subhanak allahumma o allah be thou glorified wa tahiyyatuhum fiha salam and greetings their greetings in that jannah will be salam assalamu alaikum wa akhiru dawahum anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin and the last of their prayer would be the ending verse of their prayer would be wa akhiru dawahum anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin all praise be to allah who is the lord of all the worlds these are the words often repeated by you know scholars who are delivering a sermon or a or a lecture on religious subject then is they say in the end akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillah rabbil alamin whatever we have said in the end you know our prayer is to lord and that is anil hamdulillah rabbil alamin wala yu'ajjilu allah lin nas istam is sharr istijalihim if Allah wants to hasten unto mankind the ill that they earn. Shabast ejalehim lil khair, bil khair. The way they want to have to have very soon the good. La kodiya ilahim ajanohum. There, you know, fixed time must have been concluded by now. You know, man wants that he should get everything good very soon, very soon, very soon. But actually, he is earning something. which is bad for him if allah also hastens to reward him he would have been finished by now wala yu'jilu allah lin nas sharr istijalahum bil khair the way they want good to come to them early if allah sends to them the result of their eeds their ill deeds with the same speed they would have been finished by the, by this time ജമ്പിമാൻ he calls upon us prays to us dana le jambihi lying on his side or kaidan or when he is sitting 
او قائمن او سٹینڈنگ ان ایوری کنڈیشن ہی پرے لو اللہ او اللہ پلیز ڈیلیور می فرام دس پلیز ٹیک دس ایل تھنگ فرام می دس ایفلکشن فرام می فلما کشفنا عنہ ضرہ اینڈ وین وی ہیو ابھی ریموو دس ایفلکشن وین وی ہیو ریموو دس ایفلکشن فرام ہم مرا کالم یا دونا الا ضرہ مسرا دین ہی پاسز بائی ایز ایف ہی نیور ہیڈ پرے ٹو ارس فار اینی ایفلکشن دیٹ ہیڈ کم ٹو ہم He just forgets that I was, I had been praying, you know, so, so much to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But now because that distress is gone, affliction is removed, so he just forgets. جَزَالِكَ زُجِّنَ لِلْمُسْرِفِينَ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ In this way, for these people, the, the aggressors who exceed the limits, مُسْرِفِين, their deeds are, have been made beautiful. وَلَقَدْ أَحْلَقْنَ الْقُرُونَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَمَّا غُلَمُوا And we destroyed so many generations before you because of their transgression. This is, you know, a reference to Qawm Ehud, Qawm Saleh, Qawm Nuh, etc. وَجَاتُمْ رَسُولُهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ To them came their messengers with clear teachings, clear signs, clear miracles. وَمَا كَانُوا لَيُؤْمِنُوا But they were not to believe whatever signs were shown to them. They were never to believe. Kazalika Najjil Qawmal Mujrimeen. And in this way, we recompense and reward the criminals, those who are guilty. Summa ja'alna kum khalaifa fil earth. After them, we made you the vice students on earth. Mimbaadi him after them. Linan zura kaifa ta'amaloon. So that we see how do you behave. This mode of expression appeared before also. Fayan zura kaifa ta'amaloon. فَنَنْزُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ Here it is. We shall see now what do you do. Now you have been placed at the helm of affairs. We delivered you, O Pakistani Muslims, from the Britishers and the Hindus. Now we are seeing what you are doing. فَنَنْزُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ وَإِذَا تُطْلَعَ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُنَا بَيَّنَاتٍ And when our clear and shining ayat are recited unto them, revelations, قَالَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَرْجُونَ لِقَانَا Again the third. I will emphasize in time and again that this iman bil akhira is most crucial. If it is there, howsoever weak it is, if it is there, you know, you can hope that the man, you know, will be guided. Not if, if not now immediately, at some later time. But if he doesn't have any idea of akhira, so you just forget about him, he is not going to pay any heed to whatever, you know, teachings or whatever preachings you do to him. وَإِذَا تُطْلَعَ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُنَا بَيِّنَاتٍ قَالَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَرْجُونَ لِقَانَا اِقْتِبِ قُرَانٍ غَيْرِ هَذَا O Muhammad, bring some other Qur'an. This Qur'an is not acceptable to us. It's too rigid. We can't accept it. اِقْتِبِ قُرَانٍ غَيْرِ هَذَا If you bring another Qur'an which is not so rigid, no strict, then maybe we accept it. اَوْ بَدْبِلْ هُ Or you may changes in it. You may make changes in it. You know, there must be some amendments. As such, it is not acceptable to us. It's too rigid. Too demanding. قَالَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَرْجُونَ لِقَانَ إِلِ قُرْآنٍ غَيْرِ هَذَا هُوْ بَدِّلُهُ قُلْ مَا يَكُونُ لِي أَنُوْ بَدِّلَهُ مِنْ تِلْقَاءِ نَفْسِي Tell them, it's not possible for me to change it, to amend it from my own, on my own. إِنَّ الطَّبِعِ اللَّا مَا يُوحَا إِلَيَّا Now this is the position of the Prophet himself. I follow whatever is revealed to me. I am myself subservient to it. I have to follow it. I have to observe it myself. It is not my own imagination. I am not the author. Had I been the author, I could have amended it. It is being revealed to me. And I myself have to observe it. In the Even I fear from my Lord the chastisement and the punishment of the mighty day if I also disobey him. Tell them, had Allah willed so, I would not have recited this Quran unto you. Because he has made me to do it. I am forced to do it. It's my duty to do it. 
Nor Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made you known, had made it known to you. فَقَدْ لَبِسْتُ فِيكُمْ عُمَرًا مِنْ قَبْلِهِ I have lived among you a whole life. Forty years of my life passed with you. Was I a poet? Did I ever try to become an orator? Was I practicing, you know, something, some, you know, Rahbani, Rahbaniya, and going out you know, and so getting some teachings and instructions from some holy people? Have you ever seen me going to any rabbis or any or the thieves, the priests or the sorcerers? Have you seen any such thing with me? فَقَدْ لَبِسْتُ فِيكُمْ عُمَرًا مِنْ قَبْلِ I have lived among you. The whole life, 40 years, is a full life. أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ don't you think and don't you understand? فَمَنْ أَزْلَمُ مِنْ مَنْ اِفْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ قَذِبًا أَوْ كَذَّبَ بِآيَاتِهِ This ayah has come repeatedly. Who is more evildoer, more transgressor, than who concocts something and attributes it to Allah? If he is himself forging, composing something and says it is from Allah, he is the biggest criminal. And in the same way, of kazzaba bayayate. He said the person who is rejecting or belying the revelation of Allah, real revelations, he is also among the most cruel. Innahu la yuflehul mujrimun and such, you know, criminals will not prosper, will not be successful. Wayabuduna min duni la mara yadurruhu wa la yanfa'uhum. And they worship besides Allah or leaving Allah. Those deities who can't do any harm to them, nor they can they can bring any benefit for them. لا يدرهم ولا ينفعهم. ويقولون هؤلاء شفاؤنا إن الله. This is very important. That was the basic shirk of those mushrikeen of Arabia. It's not that they didn't believe in Allah. They had all the belief in Allah. They find in Quran so many times. وَلَئِنْ سَعَلْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ فِي اللَّهِ وَالْأَرْضَ لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ If you ask them, who created the heavens and the earth, they will surely say, Allah. So they believed in Allah. Only along with Allah they believed in small goddesses. And they thought they are very dear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so if they intercede, they will be saved due to their intercession. That was the main shirk that they were committing. And now see, are we not committing the same shirk? How many Muslims are not committing it? So actually, only the outward form has changed. The essence is the same. The same mistake, the same wrong path, form has changed, essence is the same. فَيَقُولُونَ هَاو لَا شُفَاؤُنَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ And they say, these deities, these gods and goddesses, they are our intercessors with Allah. قُلْ أَتُنَبِّعُونَ اللَّهَ بِمَا لَا يَعْلَمُ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَلَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Very beautiful. And you know, in human affairs, when you intercede to somebody about somebody, what do you say? The facts on the file are somewhat different, but I know that the real case is something else. If you go to a judge, you know the facts on the file are different. But I know this, this person is not a culprit. He has not committed this crime. But can anybody tell this to Allah? That I know more than you? So how can there be any intercession? There is no basis for intercession. He knows everything more than you. He knows everything more than anybody else. So can anybody go and see, say to him, Oh, he is a different person, please, I know him. Who are you to say that? You want to tell Allah that he doesn't know in all the heavens and the earth? Subhanahu wa ta'ala amma yushrikoon. Glory to Him, and most exalted is He from all these associations that they have concocted. Amma yushrikun. It's much higher, much exalted. 
وما كان الناس الا امه واحده فاختلفوا this is again a very important you know the philosophy of history according to quran this the general philosophy of history today you have that you know the human beings were absolutely illiterate absolutely ignorant they knew nothing they were worshiping everything the plants and everything the snakes whatever they found they harmed them they started worshiping them and whatever they thought you know, it's, it's beneficial to us well sun gives us the heat and all these things our our you know crops they ripen due to this sun so they just you know they bore before this sun and prostrated so as if you know the human race started with ignorance this is absolutely contrary to the fact this does the history of human race started with light the first human was a a, a prophet himself hazrat adam first human and the same person the prophet of allah so the the starts of the human race was with guidance not the wrong paths kanan nas wa mama kanan nas illa ummatan wahida in the beginning all humanity was one community that community was on tawhid fakhtalafu afterwards they differed this is the basis of a philosophy this the correct basis of a philosophy which is termed wahdatul adyan this is correct in this sense that the origin of all religions is the same started from the one stem you know but then they branched out judaism went there christianity went there in the same way hinduism went there somewhere else otherwise you know it is just impossible that there was no guided people in india wale kulle qaumin haq wa in min qaryatin illa khala fiha nadir they were also you know prophets were sent to that region also there can be no reason where prophets were not sent they were also on the right path in the beginning but actually all this branching has taken place from the one step of one stem of that tree of guidance wa ma kana an-nas illa ummatan wahidatan fakhtalafu wa laula kalimatun sabaqat min rabbika had there been not decision about the period of testing you know for every umma we have we have fixed a period of testing wa laula kalimatun had that decision not been made earlier من ربك لا قضي بينهم في في ما فيه يختلفون it would have been decided about all the differences but Allah subhanahu wa taala has fixed a limit till that doomsday okay Hindus going which way you like you can go Jews which way you have selected for yourself well go go ahead so this is the Allah subhanahu wa taala has created this world for testing. خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا. This this choice and freedom has been given to humanity. So which which way whichever way they like they can go. ويقولوا لا ولا أنظر عليه آية من ربه. The same thing which we have been reading in سورة الأنعام and سورة الأعراف. And they say why has not been some miracle sent on him, some clear miracle. آية Aya here means miracle sign. For all in the malghab of Allah, for fun tazeru. Tell them all the unseen is in the hands of Allah. He can send the miracle whenever he like, but if he doesn't like, but I don't have the power to show you the miracle. Clear, fun tazeru. So wait. In the mark of the Muntazirin, I am also with you waiting. Maybe Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala sends a miracle, but if, if as if we have seen in Surah Al-Anam, we are not going to show them those miracles. The only miracle is this Quran. Whosoever wants to take the guidance, he can have it from Quran. No physical signs, no physical, you know, visible miracles will be shown. By the way, the Nas Rahmatam Min Baad is a raw masatum. Is Allah Makul Fi Ayatina. And when we make man taste of our mercy, after some infliction had touched him, when a man was in distress, you know, he was diseased or something else, he was in distress. He was calling Allah and calling Allah and calling Allah. Now Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has changed, and He has made him taste His mercy. Now what He does? Is Allahum Makrun Fi Ayatina? They take to plotting against our revelations. 
Now they start. Instead of accepting our wahi, accepting our Prophet now they are up and doing against our own revelations. Kulillahu asra'u makra. Tell them, Allah is much more swift in His plannings and His plottings. In the Rusulana, yaktubuna ma tamkurun. Our messengers, that is the angels, are writing and recording what planning and plottings you are doing. As we have read in Suratul Al-Fal, they were plotting whether we should imprison him, the Yasbutuka, or the Yaktuluka, or we should kill him, or we should expel him from Makkah. What should we do? All these things, our messengers, our angels, you know, Kiram and Katameen, with every person, they are there and they are writing and recording what they are doing. It is he who makes you travel, who makes the traveling easy for you in the land as well as the sea. And when you are in a ship or a boat, and a very pleasant and fair breeze, you know, it is going on with them. They are rejoicing very Favorable weather, a very favorable wind blowing, slow wind, breeze. Suddenly, a stormy wind overcomes them. And you know, the waves are attacking them from all the sides. The wind waves are coming because the stormy winds have started. And they think they have been circled. They feel that they have been en encircled. Now the death is coming to them. They now start praying on Allah and promising Him sincere and total obedience. Oh Allah, just deliver us from this and then we shall worship you and you so we shall, you know, give all the, what that we have in arms and charities and we will be very pious and righteous people. We shall lead, you know, very simple life, everything, because now death was in, in front of them. If you deliver us and save us from this, then we shall become very pious and grateful people. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivered them, إِذَاهُمْ يَبْغُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ now they are insolent and rebellious in the land without any right that they have. Ya Yuhannas, O mankind, innama baghyukum ala anfusikum. All your rebellion against us is actually upon your own selves. You are ruining yourselves. You will be doomed. You will be thrown in the fire of hell. Innama baghyukum ala anfusikum mata al hayat al dunya. And what is this? This life of this world is just, you know, some material of enjoyment, temporary enjoyment. So, my layinamarjyokum, then to us is your return. And then we shall inform everybody what he had been doing. Innama masalul hayat al dunya kamain and zallahu bin as samai fakhtala tabihi nabatul ard, mimma yakulul nasu al anam. Verily, the similitude of this life, of this world, is like water which we send down from the sky. Then the vegetation of the earth mingles with it, comes out. Which is eaten by people as well as an arm cattle. You know, the land was lying dormant, no signs of life, no greenery, nothing of the sort. Rain falls. Now what was inherent in the earth, it has come out. The vegetation, the potential that was inherent in the land, it has come out. And from this, you know, the animals as well as the humans, they are eating. Hatta idha akhadatil ardu zukhrufaha. Until when the earth puts on its ornaments and is adorned. Now you know this vegetation, greenery. Now this earth is looking beautiful. Before that, it was barren. No beauty, no greenery. Now you might see flowers who are there. A red flower, a yellow flower. So actually what has happened to this earth? 
Now this earth has become adorned. And it has actually, it, it, it has put on ornaments. Hatta iza akhazatil ardu dukhrufaha wa zayyanat wa zanna ahluha annahum qadirun alayha. And its masters, they think that now they have all the power over it. Our harvest is ready, our crop is ready, and tomorrow we shall start harvesting. Now everything is with us. They are rejoicing. Suddenly our command comes to this, this crop, either during the night or during the day. And we make it as if it has been reaped already. No, they can't reap anything now, it is all gone. As if it didn't even exist yesterday. This is what happened to the nations. They were just, you know, destroyed as if Kalam Yagnofiha, as if they never lived here. Where are the Ad and the Samud? When you know when the destruction from Allah came to them, they became as if they never lived here. Kazalika Rufasul Ayatil Yakomi Tafakkarun. In this way, we detail our revelations for those people who ponder and who reflect. Now what is the simile in it? Earth lying dead. Water comes. It becomes alive. The seeds were there in the earth. They sprout. The same way, after your death, you will be buried in the land. Your seed will be there. Command of Allah will come and you will come out. So actually, this is the life here and that will be the life hereafter. So there is a similarity. Wallahu yadu ila dar is salam. And Allah is calling you towards the house of peace. Dar is salam. Wa yahdi man yasha ila salat al mustaqim. And He guides whosoever likes or whomsoever He likes. I told you, this man yasha can go both ways. He guides whosoever likes to the right path, to the straight path. Who wants to have to go to the right path, Allah guides him. And to whomsoever he likes, Allah guides him. So man yasha goes both ways. We usually think it is only on the side of Allah. It, it can be interpreted in that way also. Allah chooses whomsoever he likes. He, he leads him to the right path. But actually his condition is that you must also be intending to, to go to the right path. Only then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides you. So this is both ways. Wallahu yadu ila dar salam wa yahdi man yasha ila sirat mustaqeem He guides to the right path whomsoever he, wa, he likes or whosoever likes to be guided. Lilladina ahsanul husna Those who are doing good deeds for them is the best. Ahsanu husna. Husna is ahsan, oneness of ahsan, feminine of ahsan. Whosoever is doing good deeds for him will be the best. Allah will reward more. It will be the best. Wasiyada. And he will increase. From his own bounty, he will add. Wala yarhaku wujuhuhum qatarun wala zilla. And their faces will not be covered on the day of judgment by any ignominy, abasement, or any darkness. They are the people of the garden, whom fiha khalidun, and therein they will abide forever. As for those who earned ill deeds, evils, jaza sayyatin bin misleha. The reward or punishment of the evil, ill deed is equal to the deed, not more. For hasana, Yudaf, you know, he will get better and more. But for Sayyah, the same amount. And humiliation will cover their faces. When they'll be standing before their lords, humiliation and abasement will appear from their faces. There will be none who could save them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it will be as if their faces were covered with strips of night, pitch dark. 
And then we shall say to these people who associated others with me, with us, Makanakum mantum wa shurakaukum. At your places, you and all those whom you worshipped, whom you associated with us. Fazayyalna bainahum. And we shall split between them. No relationship should remain between them. Makala shurakaukum ma kuntum iyana ta'budun. And whom they had associated with Allah, they will say, proclaim, Oh no, you are not worshipping us. Don't blame us. Don't make us ashamed in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you were forbidding, you were worshipping us. Now who are they? The angels, the Mushrikin of Arab thought, the angels are the daughters of Allah. And they had made their deities in the feminine names. Lat, Uzza, Manat. Christians think Jesus is son of Allah. And he is the intercessor. Whosoever believes in him, he all his sins, they are pardoned and condoned. In the same way, you know, the prophets, the Aliya Allah, the saints, they will intercede. They show reverence to them. They go to their graves. They go round about their graves and so on. They are doing it. All these will say, no, no, no. We are free from you. We are kept absolutely free from you. They will disown them. فَزَيَّلْنَا بَيْنَهُ وَقَالَ شُرَكَاهُ مَا كُنْتُمْ يَعْنَا تَعْبُدُونَ No, you are not worshipping us. كَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِدًا بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ Allah is sufficient as a witness between you and us. إِنَّا كُلْنَا عَنِ بَعْدَتِكُمْ لَغَافِلِينَ We were absolutely ignorant that you were worshipping us. We never knew. Jesus would say, say it. Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani would say it. I never knew you are calling me to help you. I never knew. So this is actually which is given here. And absolutely ignorant of your worship. At that time, every soul will be acquainted fully of what she had sent for itself. And they will be returned to Allah, their Lord, the true Lord. And all the concoctions and all the forgery and all these, you know, shit that they were doing, it will just vanish away. Just go with the wind. It will just disappear. Now these are those questions. Ask them, who gives you provisions and food from the sky as well as from the land? Water comes and land gives its vegetation. So you are being fed, you are being provided from both the sides. Or who is the one who controls your seeing and hearing, all these faculties? They are control of whom? And who is that who takes out from the dead, living thing. This land was dead. Plants are living. They are coming out from the dead. Don't you see it? May yukhrijul hayya min al-mayyid. Land was dead. And living plants coming out of it. May yukhrijul mayyid min al-hayy. And he is who brings out dead from the living. Wa may yudabirul amr. And who is ordaining all these affairs, controlling all these affairs, administering all these affairs? فَسَيَقُولُونَ اللَّهِ They will say surely, all these things belong to Allah. He is الْفَعِلُ الْحَقِيقِي 
لا فائل في الحقیقة ولا مؤثر الا الله That was the advice given by Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani to his son. The departing advice. Oh my son, keep it in mind. There is no who can do anything fil haqiqa. Nothing which can have any effect fil haqiqa. In Allah. No effect in anything. No power to do anything. In anyone. Without Allah's permission. لا قوة إلا بالله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله لا فائل في الحقيقة It appears that I have lifted this but really it's not me I intended to do it but actually Allah made me lift it so he is lifting so actually فائل في الحقيقة is only Allah that is why you know in our عقيدہ دوغما We say, الانسانو کاسب العمال والخالق العمال ہو اللہ Man is the earner of the deeds due to his intentions but no action can be created by man Creator of all the actions is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We are kasibs only, we earn due to our intentions If the intention is good, we are to be rewarded If the intentions are bad We will be brought to the book. We will be punished. But we can't do anything on our own. It's not, it's not in our powers, beyond our powers. فَزَادِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبُّكُمْ فَقُلَ فَلَا تَتَّقُونَ Then why? Don't you save yourself. Don't have taqwa of Allah. When you, you, you admit that all these things are being done by Allah. فَزَادِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبُّكُمُ الْحَقْ So such is you, Allah, your Lord, the true Lord. فَمَاذَا بَعْدَ الْحَقِّ إِلَّا الضَّلَالِ So after truth, beyond truth, what is there? Except error. فَأَنَّا تُسْرَفُونَ So where are you being turned away? كَذَلِكَ حَقَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ فَسَقُوا Thus has the word of your Lord proved true against this who transgress annahum la yu'minun that they will not come to believe qul hum min shurakaikum man yabda'ul khalqa summa yu'idu the same things being repeated ask them is there anyone from amongst your associates whom you are associating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who originates the creation and then repeat qul illahu yabda'ul khalqa summa yu'idu Allah does it Allah originates and then repeats. فَنَّتُوا فَقُونَ From where are you being perverted? قُلْ هَلْ مِنْ شُرَقَائِكُمْ مَنْ يَحْدِي لَلْحَقِّ Ask them, is there any associate of yours who can guide to the right path, who can guide to the truth? قُلِ اللَّهُ يَحْدِي لِلْحَقِّ Tell them, it's only Allah who guides to the truth. أَفَمَنْ يَحْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ أَحَقُّ أَنْ يُتَّبَعَ أَمَّنْ لَا يَهِدِّي إِلَّا أَنْ يُحْدَى Now ask them, is that, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who guides to the truth, more rightful, more deserving, that he should be followed, أَنْ يُتَّبَعَ أَمَّنْ لَا يَهِدِّي Or the one who cannot have the guidance himself, إِلَّا أَنْ يُحْدَى Unless he is guided. All the creatures need guidance. Muhammad needed guidance. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa wajadaka dhallan fahada. Who guided him? Allah found you that you were searching the truth. You wanted to know the truth. You were meditating. You were thinking. You were reflecting in the cave of Hira. You found. You want to know the truth. Which we have guided you. So all the messengers of Allah got the guidance from Allah. All the angels of Allah get the guidance from Allah. Now this word Yahiddi, actually this is the changed form of Yahtadi. This is, you know, a style in Arabic language. Two things, two, two letters 
becomes amalgamated. Ta and dal, yah tadi, yah tadi, ta and dal, they have been amalgamated. Yahiddi, so dal has been mushaddad, made mushaddad twice. Afamai yahdi ilal haq. On the one side is Allah who guides you to the truth. On the other side are all the others who cannot have the guidance themselves unless they are guided. Now who should be followed? أَفَمَنْ يَهْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ أَحَقُّ أَنْ يُتَّبَعَ أَمَّنْ لَا يَهْدِي إِلَّا أَنْ يُهْدَى فَمَا لَكُمْ كَيْفَ تَعْفُمُونَ So what has happened to you? What judgment are you giving? وَمَا يَتَّبِعُوا أَكْسَرُهُمْ إِلَّا ظَنًّا And all, if not all, the majority of them are not following except conjectures. لَا يُغْنِي وَإِنَّ الظَّنَّ لَا يُغْنِي مِنَ الْحَقِّ الشَّيَعَ and no conjecture is available, is of any avail regarding the truth. Inna Allah alimun bima yafadun. Allah very well knows what you are doing. وَمَا كَانَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ وَنْ يُفْتَرَى مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ And this Qur'an is not such a thing which could be composed by anyone other than Allah. مَا كَانَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ وَنْ يُفْتَرَى مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Look to this Qur'an, look to its beauty. It, it is not such a thing that could be composed by anybody else except Allah. وَلَكِنْ تَصْدِيقَ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ It is a confirmation of that which is present before it. That is Torah and Injil. وَتَفْسِيلَ الْكِتَابِ And it has all the details of the law. I told you this word, kitab, mostly it indicates law. La raiba fi. And there is no doubt about it. Mir Rabbil Alameen. It is from the Lord of all the worlds. Am yakoonu naftara? Are they saying that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has composed it? Folded it? He has himself composed Quran? Qul fatu bi surat in misli. Ask them to bring forth even one surah like it. And surah, you know, can be as small as surah al-Asr, as small as surah al-Qasr, as small as surah al-Nasr. These three surahs of the Qur'an consist of three ayat only. One ayah, wal asr this is one ayah. So this is the open challenge Qur'an has thrown. We have found it in Surah Al-Baqarah. فَإِن كُنْتُمْ مِرَيْبٍ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَاتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِّنْ مِسْلِهِ But you shall find this challenge thrice in the Bakki surahs. In this surah, in surah Hud, and surah Bani Israel. Thrice this challenge was thrown to them in the Bakki surahs, and then it was repeated in the Madani surah. فَاتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِّنْ مِسْلِهِ وَدُوا بَنِ اسْتَعْتَعْتُمْ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ and call upon all of them whom you can call so for your help. Leaving alone Allah. Leaving aside Allah. In kuntum sadiqeen. If you are, if you are really true. Now this is a very piercing and searching question. Telling them you are not sincere in saying this. From the depths of your heart you believe that this is divine. This is not human. This, these words are divine, not human. But because you have to make name excuses, you are saying that it has been composed by Muhammad. If you are really in doubt, then you try and accept the challenge. Call all the, all the poets and all the orators and all those things. Not only men, also the, also the jinns, you know. Call them and try to compose only one surah like Quran if you are really in doubt. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم الله أكبر الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. 
the obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. One, a Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, iman, in one's heart. Two, a Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three, a Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. Four, a Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.